we will start with an overview of the speeds and where they originate from. The speeds on this aircraft are calculated in one of two places. The most important one is the flight augmentation computer, the FAT. When we did the auto flight and we did the flight control chapter, we talked about the functions for the FAT on this aircraft. Being part of the flight control computers, the FAT does control inputs such as rudder, but it also computes all the operational characteristic speeds for the aircraft. The flight augmentation computers, which we have two of, computes and illustrates all operational speeds to the pilot's PFDs. So when you see speeds on your speed tape, etc., they come and are calculated from the flight augmentation computer. The speeds are calculated based on the weight data, and this is for PFD and MCDU display consistency and accuracy purposes. So when we initially, as part of the setup in this aircraft, set up the weights on the aircraft, this is part of what the FAT uses to calculate its speeds. Besides the flight augmentation computer, speeds are also collaborated and calculated by the flight management system. The flight management and guidance computer calculates all speeds you see on the MCDU pages. So when we're looking at the PFD and the MCDU pages, although the speeds will, might be identical or should be identical, they are not calculated by the same source. And because they're not calculated by the same source, we can use them to collaborate the information and the Kalman filtering within the flight management system and throughout the rest of the aircraft does use multiple sources and will alert the pilots of any discrepancies. The speeds you see on the approach takeoff pages, etc. in the MCDU are based on the aircraft's gross weight, which is computed according to the entered zero fuel weight and zero fuel CG values and the fuel on board, or the predicted gross weight, this is for approach and for go around. So two sources for speed computation, mainly the FAT computers and the flight management and guidance system calculates its own speeds to be displayed on the MCDU pages. Because the flight augmentation computer is the backbone of how all speed calculations on this aircraft are calculated, let's go in, into a little bit more detail about how and what is calculated. The FAT computes its operational speeds based on the FMS gross weight. And when the FAT calculates the gross weight, it comes from values we set in during the pre-flight preparation, such as zero fuel weight values. In parallel, the FAT also computes its own gross weight and its own CG. This is based on aerodynamic data which is then sent and used by the ELAG and the FMS for gross weight cross-check. This is how you get the gross weight check message on the MCDU display if there's a discrepancy. And the speeds and values calculated by the FAT are also there to serve as a backup in case of dual FMS failure. The FAT calculates its gross weight and CG in the following way. First, the FAT computes the speed for stalling. We call it VS1G. We will get to the stall speed and its definition in the slide coming up. From the VS1G value that the FAT has calculated, it then computes its own gross weight, which is sent to the ELAC. Now, you may think it's weird to send that to a control computer that controls ailerons and elevators, but as you will learn in a little bit, and as we did uncover in flight controls, the ELAG does compute its own speed for protection, for the low speed protection. And this is why the information comes from the fact not to initiate the protection from the ELAG, 
but for the e-lag to have the information it needs to calculate its own speed to provide the protection to the e-lag. After having calculated the gross weight, the fact then computes its own minimum and maneuvering speed together with V-alpha prod and stall warning for the aircraft. These speeds right here are not for the actual protection that comes from the ELAC. These are for display purposes and for other systems such as the or warnings, etc., that comes through the loudspeaker and through the flight warning computers. The flight augmentation computer calculates minimum and maximum speeds such as stall warning speeds, VLS, VFE and VFE next speeds, VLE for landing gear extended, and VMO and MMO for the current condition. It also calculates maneuvering speeds such as green dot speeds, S speed and F speed for the given configuration and aircraft CG and aerodynamic data outside. When both facts are operative, which means in normal conditions, FAC1 supplies PFD1 with speed information and FAC2 supplies PFD2 with speed information. It also computes the speed turn vector that you see on the PFDs, which will show if acceleration or deceleration is greater than 2 knots. And finally, it calculates and sends information to the flight management and guidance computer, which is then used for various guidance modes. More on that in the auto flight presentation. This was a short video on a specific topic. If you want to see the hundreds of videos we made available on professional aviation content, head on to our academy at academy.mindspacex.com. And don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button to follow us. We'll be putting up these videos regularly.